to me he allows me to have it he allows that so sorry apple user 6969 whatever the fuck that you're uh upset and pressed about that but yeah that's the type of man that i have so my man is a truck driver when we moved here to hawaii he abruptly quit his job at as a truck driver at McLean trucking and uh, um for us to move for my happiness for us to move here to hawaii now here in Hawaii, he has another job as a truck driver because he's always been a providing man. He's always been a provider. So he still makes six figures as a truck driver himself, but he allows me to have my money. So please don't be confused. I know y'all wanted to think that my man don't make no fucking money, but that's a, a huge misconception. He is 100% in charge of paying the rent and paying the bills. I would never be with a man that Y'all know, I, I told y'all, y'all taking a sugar, why y'all taking pieces of the story and running with it, but leaving the others behind? Now, why the fuck if I came from having, why the fuck, I don't give a fuck what I said, Chad Hill. Obviously, I know what the fuck I said. I know that I was an emotional woman saying some shit to my husband to get a rise out of him. I'm sure if you've had a bitch before, you know how it works. Bitches talk shit, bitches talk, bitches run their mouth. When they emotional, they say emotional shit. And if you've seen the live, I wasn't talking to y'all. I was talking to the man to make him mad. Okay? So, um, I know y'all, like, really taking a shit and wanting to believe it to be true and wanting to believe what you want to believe because it make you feel better about being a broke-ass nigga and not being a, able to provide for your woman. But you got to take something else, okay? Because the tax records say otherwise otherwise thank you bumblebee the tax records says otherwise the tax records say that he been making six figures and if y'all knew and if y'all heard me say in a in a live that i had a sugar daddy sending me 14 dollars checks tell me why the hell i'm gonna leave the sugar daddy alone to go and start paying rent by myself what the fuck i look like is your baby's head okay? He scratched himself. Yes, his head is okay. He scratched it. Queen of Kings has come out. You guys know they had their whole fight online and stuff like that. And recently she did go on TikTok for quite a long time. I, I actually recorded it for about 10 minutes. But I'm just like, yeah, no. Yeah. You know, for me, I just feel like with her, she is obviously trying to do damage control. She even had Brett come on and say that, I know people are expecting you to apologize. Well, I apologize to my wife for not loving you enough. Mm. It seems a bit dry. To me, I just feel like, it's kind of like you reap what you sow. Like mm. you went, I hope this is a learning lesson for you to not do stuff like this. Cause yeah. I just feel like one, it's just in poor taste. Yeah. Two, it's like I said in the other video, can we bring back shame? I yeah. would be ashamed to sit down here yeah. and to be exposing my man's business. Yeah. And if I was here paying bills, quote unquote, for him and I bought the own Rolls Royce, I would be ashamed to do so. Yeah. I feel like we need to bring shame back mm -hmm. in our society. Mm -hmm. So we're not oversharing yeah. online. Mm -hmm. Like people be going online as if this is, these are your therapists. Yeah. Go hire a therapist. These yeah, are everyday people yeah. who also have effed up lives. Yeah. There's some that have effed up mindsets. But you, you know something, be... even in a therapist chair, you will not be doing all of this either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like even that is there's some kind of controlled environment, you know? Yeah. Um, I just feel like she went on this, like it was like kind of like an impulse. I don't know what triggered it. I think it but was like she was so violent in all of the things that she said about him. So it's like kind of fighting with your mouth, right? With your tongue. And, and while she was doing it, he was holding the baby while she was going off. Yeah. And I worried about the children seeming not even perturbed about it. Although this was just uh, part of the course. This, this is, is everyday thing. Yeah. 
So that was very concerning. Um, and then it's like she's coming out and she's trying, kind of like trying to backpedal and say that, oh, yeah. when I said I bought the Rolls Royce, really I did it because, you know, my man, he gets his check from truck driving and we create content together and we get a check, but he lets me keep that whole check as if it's my money. But it's something that we created together since we both make family content. But he, she was like, oh, some content creators that are family content creators, they take that money and they split it and let that be for the household. He said, that's not what we do. He gives me the check and he still goes out and he makes money as a truck driver. So really when I was saying, you know, my money, it really wasn't my money. And then somebody corrected her and she was like, listen, hold, I know what I said, I know what I said, but that's not what I'm saying now. I was just like, eh, God, eh, God. And she looks so annoyed and like very like, like you, she, like, you are the one who created this the chaos. Issue, like, and you know, Mike, I want to give her advice because I generally feel like, you know, they have created a beautiful life together. But this whole thing, like, it's an actual issue. Yes, people are talking about it, but it's actually something you actually have to work on. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, it's just not how you should speak to a spouse. Like, no, I don't know what he's doing behind not. the scenes. Absolutely not. If there not. are some things that he's doing and that he needs to fix, then he should definitely fix them. Yeah. But as but when you're married, I feel like it's important for you to continue to show up as your best self. I don't feel yeah. like we get married and we let it all hang out because we're and married. You don't and we get, get comfortable. married for to abuse someone. Yeah. Either like not because you're married to them. That means that now you don't just talk to him any kind of way. And Especially just online. all the stuff she did, like it was so out of pocket. It was so abusive. Like she was so comfortable as she laying up in the couch doing all of that. Um, it's yeah, just, not also taking accountability. Like you, not your whatsoever. Come like you're insulting apologize. us now. Like you're insulting us. Yeah. Like, you're the one who invited us in. Now. You insulting us when we call you out on stuff. I think she might lack self awareness because the thing is, you had Brett come out totally, and I felt like him coming out even made you look worse because it's like, oh, she can't take accountability, but here she is having her man come out to apologize to us when she really should be apologizing to him. So she's like, oh, I'm not even gonna apologize at all, which I, I don't need her yeah. to give me an apology or to give us an apology. Like that's their marriage, that ain't my business. But all I, I am saying is coming from a loving space that. You, your triggers, that's something that you need to work on. Absolutely. The fighting with your mouth, that's something that you need to work on. Because these things are not things Especially that help having a, woman, a loving, long-term marriage. Like, that's yeah. not going to help it to be strong. Yeah. And my thing is also, some things don't need to be on the internet. I remember she mm -hmm. had even put on the internet that she had wanted and she wanted an abortion and she begged him for it. I didn't need to know that. That's, that's I felt much. like... Everybody on the internet don't need to know your business. Like yeah. I feel like we try to make social media more than what it is. Mm -hmm. We show the best parts of our lives on social media. That's what it is. And I feel like that's fine. We don't have to go here mm -hmm. and be telling everybody our belly war. Certainly not that. I feel like that. Like you go to a therapist for that. Yeah, I certainly mean, not that. You the, guys can talk about it among yourselves, and you know. I just thought that was very. That was a little scary. I just not scary in the sense, but like she just like seems being, to be very impulsive to me, very immature. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of growing that, that she to has to, and yeah, you guys should not have any more children until you've just grown up. Well, get really, therapy, really, and you've gone your therapy. Yeah, like marriage is a really serious thing. Raising a family is very serious. You know, and it's not for those who are immature and who are impulsive, um, who are easily triggered. You have to, those are things you have to really work on. You have to be aware of them, get therapy for them. Like, yeah. you know, um, I do want them to win because you have very young children. Yeah, you know? very true. Very young children. And you have a spouse who has really reached out to your two sons that you brought into the relationship right yeah and they seem to really love him yeah and he seems to love them you know and you guys have a really sound support system with the parents right the grandparents of the two boys right and then his parents that's those are the ones that i've seen have you seen yeah. her parents 
Oh, I think I you said do you see, saw the I parents. Do see the, her parents yeah, do. and I see the baby daddy's parents come around from time to right. time. Right, those grandparents are involved. So I'm just feeling like she has a lot of support, a huge support system. So this is something that can work. But you've got to grow up. You have to see a therapist. You can't be jumping on the air mattress and clapping your two feet in the air and saying, I don't get You can't be free. insulting people, <laughs> like insulting us, insulting the man. Like, you know, if she insulted her the way she insulting us, you know she doing it. Well, she ain't insulting me. All I'm saying is, look. Well, the person who she calling her. She's a, that's the audience. Well, her really? saying that I don't be for free, clapping her two feet in the air, which it was an impressive move. But my thing is, like, <laughs> online talking about I don't be for free after you aired your man's laundry out there like that and you thought it was gonna make him look bad but it made you look bad like darling let's be accountable and let's stop talking about it just keep posting like your life is fine because stop because I see she gets really triggered I by comments she has be to like get Beyonce, off the, the be like Beyonce and stop reading your comments yeah figure out why you're triggered and start posting like everything is normal. Yeah. Stop coming on here and reminding us about it. It was traumatizing enough. You know, you need to pull a Paris Hilton. Maybe you need to just be away for a while. For real. Like just, you know, be away for a while. Like take 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 a take a year off, right? And um then come back. Really. You know, just take take a few months off. Yeah, because it just is too much, you know. Yes. But yes. I do, I sincerely wish you well. I, I really hope your do. marriage does work out. But you have to be aware, self aware, and accountable yeah. and be willing to evolve. Yeah. So that's and I'm not saying say. that he didn't do something to her. Obviously, he did something that. for her to to get upset the way she did, right? You know, men be throwing rocks and then hiding their hand like they ain't do shit. I don't. We know that. Like, oh, what was that? Oh, now you yell like a crazy person online. What you done did? What, what? Crazy? what? Let me go grab that baby. What? Oh What's going God? on? Oh my oh goodness. God. Let me feed this baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, just are you looking crazy? But still, you have to have some sense in your head. Above all else, do that. we must, must be, be civilized. civilized. We civilized. must be civilized. I need to put out a t-shirt. Uh, we will be getting our merch soon. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, we will see you we guys. We do wish you well, though. We, we do, do wish you well. We, do. we, we want think you you're funny, and you know, you know, want y'all to win. Yeah. But yeah, you say white tea here. Ever chat. since she cut her hair, maybe she used to, she should have left the hair on the head. Boy, was it was it a wig that she had on? Well, maybe so, she didn't I don't want really to have that that last child. Maybe that's where this all went downhill. She might be when, going through some serious depression. Yeah, but you don't go cut your man out online. You do that in private. Behind closed doors. <laughs> no one keep cursing their man in the in the private. No one should ask. You know, also, relationships oh, wait, wait, no. are do not that. for abuse. Like, can we just say that? Like, I don't know what's going on. Your face, you're like, no. Relationships are not for for someone to be abused. Period. Yeah. Full stop. The end. Relationships are things to like for us to be loving, enjoy the best time of our lives yes so anyway <laughs> i'm done bye y'all